my name is Mary Ann Wells and I'm a patient of Dr. Clancy's. Um, when I had just turned 38 and I was diagnosed with stage 3 colon cancer. I have a very strong family history of it so it wasn't a total surprise but still in all uh, I was diagnosed. My gastroenterologist um, when he found the tumor informed me that I needed to have surgery and he provided me with a list of surgeons to select and um, I chose Dr. Clancy. When we were all through the first appointment when we were talking about what my treatments would be, he kept saying to me, in a 38-year-old woman, I want this done yesterday. In a 38-year-old woman, I want this done yesterday, which said to me that he was taking my cancer and my treatments as seriously as I was. And after the first, after the first meeting, a lot of people, you know, my family and my coworkers had asked me you know, what I thought, and I said, I like him and I trust him. I was, I was severely injured when I was about 17 years old, and I can remember uh, being in the emergency room and, and having a, a, uh, a physician stand over me in the emergency room, who was, happened to be a surgeon, and describe my injury and tell me that they're going to take care of me. And I, uh, I can remember in about two seconds, sort of, um, it seemed a lot longer, but it's sort of being able to assess that this person was competent and that they cared very deeply. And uh, that sort of interaction is what I sought when I decided to win medicine. He, he was my strongest advocate. Um, you know, he definitely worked hard on my behalf uh, with the oncologists that I had to, to meet. Um, he made sure that all the, the diagnostic tests that I had to have were scheduled promptly and, and followed up. So um, again, I knew not only that he was a very skilled surgeon, but he was also a very compassionate doctor and very compassionate man. Patients will sometimes feel as though uh, they're particularly grateful for leaving a receiving a certain level of care, and I'm trying to communicate to them that this is what you deserve. This is the, this is the care that you should expect. In addition to being a patient, this person is also a family member and a friend and a co-worker. Um, and don't, you know, don't hesitate to see them as a person and to approach them as a person, as a whole person with a whole other life outside of the hospital or outside of the office. Not everyone is going to have a uh, relationship with, with their caregiver the way they say they're, they're great buddies with them, or nor should they really. Um, or sometimes they might not even feel as though that person is, you know, uh, would be friendly to them outside of that relationship, but they should feel as though their concerns are listened to and validated. And if they don't have that, then they really should seek something else, because that's what they deserve. 